was an amazing place. There was motorsport going on every weekend pretty well. Um, my grandparents rallied. My mother and father rallied. In fact, my mother was my first co-driver when I started rallying. But the TT and the bikes was an amazing thing to see. Um, it became quite normal in a way that it was on. You, you got used to it. And I was always told never to, if I had a motorbike, I wasn't allowed to live at my mum and dad's house. So I sort of kept away and hid them. But um, a big fan of bikes and cars. Um, I, I think in, in rallying, it was uh, winning my first British championship. Um, we had a really competitive year back in 97. There was, I think, six cars or drivers that could have won on the last round. Um, things we Bologna Motor Show was quite a nice thing to win against uh, some very special drivers. And uh, an achievement really was being 35 seconds ahead of Sebastian Loeb on tarmac after days of rallying in Ireland. Um, that was quite a nice feeling. I should have ended the rally at the end of that day. It all started on the back of my rallying. Um, a friend of mine, Ben Collins, who's the old Stig, he was working on Quantum and they were after a driver to come down the quarry gravel scene. Um, so with a gravel background of rallying, it was a, a perfect option to have a rally driver. Um, he mentioned it to me one night at a big social evening we were at. Yeah, 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 Bond film. I'd watched them all on TV, never thought I'd be in one. And um, it sort of went from there. In the next uh, sort of two or three months, we spent um, filming in uh, Lake Garda. Yeah, I mean, the, the DB10 is a proper raw rear-wheel drive, manual gearbox, um, V8 engine and car based a little bit around the Vantage that was around before. Um, from a stunt driver's point of view, manual's perfect because you've got clutch control, you can make it do a lot more with our own input. Um, and because you've got a front engine car with rear wheel drive, it's the perfect balance. It's, it, going back to our old rallying history, the Mark II Escort rally car is a great car. And uh, with the V8 in the front of the um, DB10, you've got the sound as well, so a good package. Yeah, the, the, the CX-75 was a car that was um, designed and built as a production car, but then they pulled it just before its release when the recession hit. Um, they, they replicated that car for the film. Um, very aggressive engine, it was probably about 600 horsepower, which was a bit of a beast on the cobbles, mid-engined, and uh, made for a good baddie car chasing us in the DB10. Yeah, it's been quite diverse, really. We've, we've managed to drive, um, okay, you see a lot of scenes where we drive things temporarily, but the main cars I drove in Quantum was the Alfa Romeo chasing the DBS. Um, one highlight was being told to hit, hit him harder. I spent 22 years of my career trying not to crash, and that was quite weird coming down the radio. I then drove the Defender in Skyfall for the chase alongside the train, and um, obviously the last film driving the DB10 um, in the main chase in Rome. Um, but it was really nice going through the Vatican sideways at a best part of 100 miles an hour. Um, it was on cobbles, you had to start in a very low gear, and then you were up to about 100 miles an hour as you went through a very, very narrow exit uh, with the Pope watching. A bit, bit, bit of pressure, a bit loose, yeah. <laughs> Good for adrenaline. <laughs> the great th thing with the Bond franchise is you become a family. Um, you get to know everybody. You're working with all the people. I mean, there's 350 film crew working on an evening in Rome. There's really two people that can make a, a visual mistake. So th there is pressure, but I think the rallying helps that. You know, I love 3, 2, 1 as a countdown. Um, but also there's a great buzz when you hear action and uh, off you head into a, a big scene through an amazing place. Very difficult because as the years have evolved, so have the movies. So uh, I actually quite like Casino Royale. I've got a GSXR 1000 race bike at the moment, only on tracks and a, and a KTM Enduro bike. Best car I've driven, it would have to be one of the latest World Rally cars at their last time. Um, they were two litre, big power, big torque. Uh, they were pretty amazing for what we were using them for. So I'd have to go with that, I think, for now. Quicker than a Formula One car because of the traction. I don't know the actual figures, but uh, you were pinned to the back of your seat for the first bit. I love the looks of the DB5 from a totally classic point of view. And then I think you need almost need a different car for different days. So weekend car, you'd have to leave that one with me.